we go. Good. Um, here, honey, honey, let me help you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Fox, I probably won't be back tonight. I'm gonna stay with her at the hospital. Oh. Honey, you think I'll let you? Oh, yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a good idea. Excellent idea. Um, hey, let me know if you need anything, okay? Thanks. Thanks. Nighty. Nighty night. Okay, Teresa, you can come out now. I know you're in there. Oh my god. I totally thought she was going to send me when she went to get the coat. Wow. Now, I thought I was the master of getting myself caught in tight situations that were impossible to get out of, but I just. I don't know how you do it. Uh, I, I don't know either. And I just wish that you would just stop. Yeah, I'm sure that you do. I'm sure that you do. I mean, I mean, being trapped in a closet while your ex boyfriend's in bed with his wife? That's what I call a tight situation. Believe me, it's fine. I'm not gonna break, you know. But I'm not gonna have to worry about it happening much longer. How do you figure? Fox, Ethan told me that he loves me. He still wants to be with me. So Ethan told you he was gonna leave Gwen for you? No, no, Ethan. Oh, right. Okay, so this whole thing about you being with Ethan then is just, well, it's another one of your fantasies, right? No, no, it's not a fantasy, Fox. It's going to be a reality, and soon. Oh, great. Well, obviously you live in a whole different reality than the rest of us, but that's okay. Teresa, I already knew that one. You'll see. Okay, look. Ethan's a married man, and with a baby on the way, and he took a vow not to leave his wife, not to leave the baby. Teresa, what's going to make him change his mind? I will. Trust me. Ethan's going to come back to me. 